What are you doing, Renny? I am trying to draw a table in MS Word, but it seems so complex. Don't worry, I'll help you. To create a complex table, follow these steps. First, click on the place where you want to create the table. Then, click insert on the menu bar. Click on the table. Then, click draw table. The pointer will change its shape to a pencil. Draw a rectangle by dragging through left click in order to define the outer table boundaries. Then, draw the columns and rows in the table. You can erase any line or block of lines by clicking on the eraser tool and dragging it over the line. After drawing the table, you can click a cell and start typing or insert a graphic. How do we delete a table or anything on it? These are the steps to delete a table and its content. First, click and select the table. Click and select the table layout in the menu bar. Click on the drop down option under the delete option. Click the delete table option. The entire table and its content will be deleted. If you wish to delete either a row, column or cell from a table, then follow these steps. First, select the rows, columns or cells to be deleted. Then point to delete on the table menu and then click columns, rows or cells that you wish to delete from the drop down menu. The selected item will be deleted automatically. How do we clear what we have written in a cell? First, select the item to be cleared. Then, press delete. The selected item will be deleted. Can we add more rows or columns to a table after it has been already created? Definitely. You can add as many rows or columns to a table as you want. These are the steps to add rows or columns to a table. First, select the place where you want to insert a row or column. Then, on the layout tab, click the drop down arrow under rows and columns. Then, click on the desired insert command. You can also resize the table as you want. These are the steps to resize the table. First, rest the pointer on the table until the table resize handle appears on the lower right corner of the table. Then, rest the pointer on the table resize handle until the double headed arrow appears. Drag the table with the left click button till you get the desired size of your table. You can also increase or decrease the size of table. Can we merge two or more cells into one? Definitely. These are the steps to do it. First, click Eraser on the Design Toolbar. Then, drag the eraser over the cell dividers which are to be removed. Our teacher said that you can also format a table after creating it. How can we do it? Yes, you can format a table too. There are a number of things you can do to a table. You can display or hide the table grid lines by formatting it. First, click on the design menu bar. Then, click on the borders drop down menu. The drop down menu appears. 
choose no border to hide grid lines. The grid lines will disappear. You can also position the table anywhere in the page by these steps. Keep the pointer on the table until a four-headed arrows appear. Drag the table by clicking the left mouse button to the required location in the page and then release the mouse button. The table will shift to the new location. The table is set at a default tab and indent. If you wish, you can change the tab and indent too. How can we do that? The ruler at the top of the document can be used to change the tab and indent of the table. Let's learn where the indent are situated in the page. First, line indent. It is the marker with the downward arrow near the left edge of the ruler. Hanging indent. It is the marker with the upward arrow near the left edge of the ruler. Left indent. It is the marker with an upward arrow near the left edge of the ruler. Right indent. It is the marker with an upward arrow on the right edge of the ruler. Let us now look at how we can create a first line indent. First, select the paragraph to be indented. Then, on the horizontal ruler, move the first line indent marker to the position where you want the text to start. To create a hanging indent, First, select the paragraph to be indented. Then, on the horizontal ruler, move the hanging indent marker to your desired position, where you want the indent to start. To create a negative indent, first, select the paragraph you want to outdent or extend into the left margin. On the horizontal ruler, move the left indent marker to your desired position where you want the paragraph to start. You can also increase or decrease the left indent of a paragraph. To decrease the left indent of a paragraph, first select the paragraph you would like to change. Then, click Decrease Indent on the Formatting Toolbar. Word will decrease the indent by one tab stop. To increase the left indent of a paragraph, first, select the paragraph you would like to change. Then, click Increase Indent on the Formatting Toolbar. Word will increase the indent by one tab stop. Remy, do you know how you can merge mails in MS Word? Mm, no idea, Clico. Mail merge is a mass mailing facility that takes names, address and pertinent facts that recipients and merges the information into a form of letter or other such basic document. These are the steps for a simple mail merge. First, select an existing document which you want to send. Now, create a new mailing list which contains the names and addresses of the recipients you wish to send the letter to. Finally, merge the main document with the data source to create individual form letters, one for each of the recipients. You can open or create data source by the following steps. First, choose the mailing tab on the menu bar. Then, click the drop-down box of Start Mail Merge. Then, select the Mail Merge Helper. 
the Mail Merge Helper panel will appear. So Renny, you know a lot about tables and mail merging. Yes, I do, Glico. Thank you for your help.